Good evening, viewers. This is Bertha and Brady Fox reporting to you live from the GMO News Channel. Earlier today, we went to a local chicken farm to talk to Billy Fox about GMO labeling and how he does it. Let's take a look at the shot we got from earlier today. My name is Billy Fox from the local chicken farm. Sometimes I don't label the GMOs in my food because there's no law requiring GMO labeling. Thank you, Billy. Research shows that about 93% of food labelers don't add GMOs to the label. One big problem with GMOs is that they're referred to as safe based only on animal studies. If an animal study does not find harm with a particular substance, it can still cause harm in humans. Farmers add growth hormones and other chemicals to make organisms grow faster so they're easier to consume earlier. The problem is, is that this intersects with the eight most common food allergies. With some of these allergies are soy, wheat, milk, eggs, etc. Let's see what Billy Fox has to say about this. In order to stop these GMOs from getting in our food, we should either take it out immediately, or if you want to keep it in there, we should at least label our food with a food label. 